Okay, so this is November coming up. And, you know, around this time of the year, um, it's the ancestors around that time. The dead, the giddy, all of those wonderful folks. So, during this time of the year, we put out things to serve our dead. And during that time, sometimes what happens is people forget that ancestors, they have not become these angelic beings that people think they are okay because someone had asked me the other day and i said i was going to make a video about this because so many people are starting to get into spiritual problems because they've decided to set an altar up for the ancestors and basically the ancestor that they reached out to or ancestors they watched reached out to started to give them issues and problems i've gone over this before i said you know Especially if you have an ancestor, even if they were close to them, okay, it could be a grandmother or grandfather, but if they were like a born-again Christian or something like that, and you're in a same-sex relationship, or maybe they don't like your relationship style, what can happen is these ancestors can start to give you a hard way to go, and you will start to have problems in your life that you didn't have before because you decided to put up this altar and you started to experience problems at work and another thing is everybody's ancestors don't get along with other people's ancestors so if you have a person that you're living with and maybe they could be a spiritual person maybe not or they could just be spiritually sensitive or maybe their ancestors just naturally are around them constantly and now you open up this altar and now you might have a problem going on. Also, if you open an altar to your ancestors, you have to understand that the people around you might not understand exactly what your ancestor altar is. And if you put a shot of booze there and some people are just rude, they might decide, hey, I'm going to drink this sip of booze. Or if you have a bottle of booze there and they might decide to pour themselves a drink. Now you have a problem. Or they might have a problem. So that's the whole thing in general with altars. Altars are portals. Sometimes the spirits are there at that altar. And then sometimes they're not there at that altar. So when it comes to ancestors too. Our old people, our elders used to hold a lot of secrets. Okay. And when I say secrets. People say, well, what about if it's your grandmother and you knew your grandmother? Okay, your grandmother may love you to death, but maybe your grandfather was an asshole. Maybe your grandfather was mentally abusive to her. Maybe he was physically abusive to her. You might not know that because grandmothers have a certain strength to them that they're not going to show you that. And all you know is that grandmommy loved me, abuela loved me, and so and so. And you pull her to you and you haven't elevated her. You haven't done things and put certain safeguards in place. You might start experiencing what she went through. Your grandfather, he could have been a drill sergeant in a sense. Or maybe he was a drill sergeant. Okay. And now, you know, you might only saw him certain times of the year or some things like that and now you're dealing with him full on and now he starts to move things or cause blockages in your life and you're like I didn't have this happening to me before why is this happening to me before the next thing that can happen is right now we're living in turbulent times and because we're living in turbulent times, that means that there's a lot of negative entities and spirits that have been forgotten. A lot of lost souls that have been forgotten. And they're always looking for a portal. Okay. They're always looking for a portal to come through. And they might pretend to be your uncle or whoever it is until they get tired of pretending and then they start causing you problems and by that time 
it's such a mess in your life. Now you have to go find a spiritual, a competent and trained spiritual worker to get you out of the nonsense that you put yourself in. And as my Godfather always says, spiritual work is expensive. Whereas if you would have took the time in the beginning to invest in yourself and got a consultation with whoever that's competent and trained, not just initiated, you could have saved yourself a whole bunch of money. Think about it. Maybe $100 or $50 or $75 consultation compared to you having to spend $900 or $1,000 or however much it might cost to get things back in line with you. I don't know. You do the math. Another situation that could happen and has happened is let's say you're a young woman and you decide to reach out to your mom that passed over and maybe she lost children or maybe she's mad for whatever reason because unfortunately a lot of things happen to our mothers that also they keep secret to keep us safe now you're trying to get pregnant you're trying to do things and you can't and you're wondering why you're having experiencing these issues because maybe your mom is still dealing with things that you know she didn't deal with when she was here So you have to be cautious. You don't know if uncle so-and-so was a molester. Now you have some spirit in your house molesting your children. And yes, it has happened. Or leaving marks on your children. So my, my, what I say to you is you have to be careful. It's not about spiritual workers trying to take all the power or we don't want you to empower yourselves. Just the opposite. We want you to empower yourself, but we also don't want you to make mistakes where now your families are being affected. Your elders are being affected. Your pets are being affected because let's get into pets. Pets feel things too. All of a sudden now your dog doesn't want to be in your house. Or your cat is jumping and bouncing off the darn walls. And you don't know why. Or you start feeling cold. Or you start getting agitated. Or you start feeling angry. And you don't know why you're having all these things. Because you're being influenced. When this didn't have to be. And as far as books, because I can feel someone out there say, well, I read a book and the book said, okay, so here, let me tell you about books. Books are made to be sold. And everybody that writes a book doesn't know what they're doing. And nowadays, anybody can go on Amazon or anybody can go on some of these little uh, publishers and write a book within a day, maybe two days. And then have it ready for you to publish on, ready for you to get on Amazon, to purchase on Amazon. Do they know what they're doing? Did you check the research to find out if this person is a known person in the community? Did this person have testimonials? Did this person have training by people that you know? Because anybody can write a book. And then you go follow advice that just going to mess you up. Next. If you are a person out there that decides I'm going to have an ancestor altar here and then when I move, if they let you move, because now you rooted this fam, you've put these ancestors there. You didn't ask them. You just got up and said, well, I'm going to move. Maybe they don't want to move. And then you're wondering why your house isn't selling. You're wondering why all these different things are happening because you decide to have an ancestor altar without just having going through the proper channels. That's all we're telling you. Like I said earlier, or if I did say in one of my other videos, if you're following the advice of a spiritual worker that's telling you to put up an altar, my advice to you is to contact that particular spiritual worker, book a consultation with them so they can tell you if you should put up this altar or not. 
Now, I've said this in another video. I asked my own godfather once. Um, I was like, Papa, can I have a Boveda? Can I have an ancestor altar? He said, no. I said, why? In a respectful way. He was like, because you really don't need to deal with your ancestors like that. I can give them things, but I don't have to dedicate. I don't need an altar specifically for them because that is also a responsibility. And if you have people in and out of your house or you have people that might be scared of your ancestor altar or disrespectful people or children that might not understand, sometimes spirits, sometimes spirits can be a little lenient towards children, but you never know. So anyway, this is Mambo Sandy, and if you want to reach out to me for a consultation, you can reach me at help at mambosandy.com. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and um, I'm going to be doing something special at the end of the month for my subscribers, so please feel free to also, you can find me on Facebook at Mambo Sandy on my Mambo Sandy page. You can also find me on Periscope. Um, sometimes I go on Periscope. If you do not have Periscope, I also sometimes come on um, Facebook Live. But I actually prefer Periscope because sometimes Facebook Live is kind of dicey. All right. Well, you have a good day. Enjoy your Day of the Dead coming up. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.